What is going on YouTube? It's your boy TJ Ramney and today I'm bringing you, I'm going to be talking about the top 10 NBA trade for the decade. And when I talk about the top 10 NBA trade for the decade, I'm talking about like the top 10 since 2011 to 2019. Before I start the video, can you please subscribe to my channel? Turn on notifications so you can see when I upload videos like this. And let's get to it. Number 10, LeBron James and Chris Bosch to the Miami Heat. The Miami Heat received James and Bosch in a sign in signing trade. While Cleveland and Toronto received future first round picks. In the summer of 2010, LeBron James and Chris Bosch decided to team up with Dwayne Wade in Miami. My, Dwayne Wade was in Chicago. He had already um, told Chris Bosch to come and play in Chris Bosch Green. The way you're winning on LeBron. Number 9. Carmelo Anthony to the New York Knicks. Carmelo Anthony wanted to be traded away from the Denver Nuggets. And he didn't want it to leave in free agency. So Denver tipped Anthony to the Big Apple City of New York. And he would join the Knicks. Where he would never have like the success LeBron James had in Miami. But... He would take them to the playoff. Number 8. Chris Paul to the LA Clippers. Chris Paul was originally supposed to team up with Kobe Bryant with the Lakers. But since the NBA at that time owned the Hornets, they beat, they beat, beat all that trade. So Chris Paul was sent to the Lakers neighbor, the Clippers, to form Lob City alongside Blake Griffin and DeAndre Jordan. As they never had any success in the playoff, they couldn't get past the second round pick. I mean, the second round um, in the playoff. And Chris Paul at the end was sent away to the Rockets. Number seven, James Harden to the Houston Rockets. The, OK, the OKC Thunder refused to pay the max contract to James Harden. And if they gave the contract to Serge Ibaka, while well, they shipped Harden away to Houston. The Rockets general manager, Daryl Murray, took a chance on Harden to become the next franchise player. And he has done that. He's a great scorer. He's been the greatest scorer. He, in this decade, he scored, he scored more, the most points in NBA with 19,000 points surpassing LeBron James. Um, and the rest of fifth day. Number six. Brooklyn Nets go all in for Garnett and Pierce. At that time of the trade, it was a great trade for the Nets. As they were acquiring two pieces that would um, help them conquer the champion. Um, they had Darren Williams, Brooke Lopez, Joe Johnson, and they added... Paul Pierce and Kevin Garnett. But with time, it started becoming one of the worst trades in NBA history. As the Nets had traded away their entire future for Garnett and Pierce. As for the Celtics, they received draft picks that would become that would later become Jalen Brown in 2016 and Jason Tatum in 2017, among other Players that were good. Number five, Kevin Love to the Cleveland Cavaliers. LeBron had just gone back to Cleveland and he wanted more help. I mean, he got, he already had Kyrie Irving, so he wanted to form another big three. So he made the Cavaliers front office trade the number one pick in the 2014 NBA draft, Andrew Wiggins. For Minnesota Timberwolves forward, Kevin Love. They full for good train because he helped LeBron get his third ring in 2016. But right now, when LeBron left to the Lakers, Kevin Love couldn't handle the, the whole situation by himself. Number four. Luka Doncic for Trey Young. This is a win for win for both the Dallas Mavericks and the Atlanta Hawks. 
and they both got franchise players to build around. In addition to the deal, the Mavericks will send a pick that will become Cam Reddish in the 2019 NBA draft. The Dallas Mavericks, I mean Luka Doncic, is becoming the next Dirk Nowitzki for the Mavericks, and he got to play with him for one season before Dirk Nowitzki retired. Dirk Nowitzki left the Mavericks in good hands for with Luka Doncic and for the Atlanta Hawks. They're still trying to build around him and they have center pieces to I mean in my in my opinion they have center pieces to trade in Kevin Werther and other player. Number three Kawhi Leonard to the Toronto Raptor. This trade has to go down as one of the all time great short term gambles in league history. The Raptors took a chance from Kawhi Leonard and Danny Green, who will lead them to an NBA champion. But unfortunately for the Rockets, they lost both guys to the L to Los Angeles. Not to the same team. As Kawhi Leonard left for the Clippers and begged the Clipper well told the Clippers that you he wanted that if they wanted to sign him, he they would have to trade for Paul George. While Danny Green left for the Los Angeles Lakers, where he was playing a long time, one of the greatest players of all time, LeBron James. Number two, Anthony Davis finally gets two wish and goes to Hollywood. Clearly, the Lakers missed the playoff last season and went to the offseason with Anthony Davis on their mind. On June 17, the Pelicans agreed to send David, Anthony Davis to the LA Lakers for Alonzo Ball, Brandon Ingram, Josh Hart, and three first-round picks, including the fourth pick in the NBA draft. The Pelicans also got a great centerpiece back in Brandon Ingram. I feel this season, he did his breakout season. Um, he, he's having like one of the best seasons of his career alongside Lonzo Ball and Joshua. And they have rookie Zion Williamson coming back from injury. Um, let's hope this team in the future wins an NBA champion. And number one, Paul 